We will now turn to item number 6B, uh, student appeal, contested case appeal in open session. Um, uh, this appeal is brought under Iowa Code, Administrative Code Chapter 68120. The board has the discretion to resolve the appeal on the briefs or provide the parties an opportunity to present oral argument. The board has access to written materials submitted by the parties and a complete administrative record has been provided to all regents. Neither the appellant nor the university will be permitted to present oral argument to the board at this time. The board office will provide a brief review of the procedural background related to this matter. Following the board office's presentation, the board may deliberate on the decision to be rendered, or if no deliberation is desired, it may vote on the student appeal. If further del deliberation is is desired, that is, if you want, if you want to deliberate on this in any respect, uh, the board then needs to entertain a motion to enter into closed session. Just want to be clear on that. Uh, so, if there's any discussion that anyone wants to have, we'll need to go into closed session in order to be able to do that. Thank you, President Miles. I just wanted to provide you guys with a little bit of procedural background related to this because it is a contested case. Um, the student is appealing from the imposition of a disciplinary sanction at the university. He chose not to utilize the policies and procedures adopted by the institution and it's instead to use the uh, policies and procedures under the administrative code. Um, pursuant to that, this matter was presented to an administrative law judge. A hearing was held. The issue on hearing was limited only to the appropriate uh, sanction to be imposed. Um, during the hearing, the parties were given the full opportunity to uh, present exhibits and testimony and cross-examine witnesses. At the conclusion of this hearing, the administrative law judge did uh, elect to adopt the, the discipline um, proposed by the institution. The appellant was then uh, provided the opportunity to appeal this decision to the president of the university. Um, the president re reviewed the administrative record and the arguments raised on appeal and uh, affirmed the decision uh, brought down by the administrative law judge. Um, the appellant then obviously appealed to the Board of Regents. Um, as President Miles indicated, the board um, has the opportunity to resolve this appeal on the written arguments um, and the record. Um, those have been provided to you, and uh, you have had an ample opportunity to review them. Uh, if you have any questions um, regarding the procedures or the issues raised, I'd um, be happy to answer them. Thank you very much. Um, again, all regents have been provided with the full administrative record as well as the briefs from both sides. Uh, you've had an opportunity to review those. Is further deliberation desired? Um, hearing none, uh, is there a motion to deny the student appeal and affirm the final institutional action? So moved. Second. Moved Regent Campbell, seconded Regent Downer. Any further discussion? If not, I'll call the roll. Regent Johnson? Yes. Regent Campbell? Yes. Regent Gardner? Yes. Regent Vasquez? Yes. Regent Harkin? Yes. Regent Lang? Yes. Regent Downer? Yes. Regent Evans? Yes. Regent Five Miles votes yes. The motion is approved. Uh, that concludes our business for today. Uh, however, in about nine minutes at five o'clock, we will begin uh, a one and a half hour uh, open forum for the Iowa State University community to discuss the, uh, the qualities we should be looking for in the upcoming presidential search. Uh, and uh, 